5.45 is the time. Meteorologist John Nodar keeping his eye on Tropical Storm Zeta, among other things, in our weather headlines. Right. We got a little bit of fog this morning. Uh, really, today, though, is going to be a beautiful day, and you would hardly know there is a tropical threat by midweek. So let's take a look at what is out there for you. A dry day today, showers tomorrow, and then we will feel some effects of Zeta on Wednesday. Will it be a direct hit from a tropical storm or even a Category 1 hurricane, or will we get some of the edges of this? That's still debatable, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. First, though, let's find out where Zeta is right now, and it's uh, still in the central part of the Caribbean, moving toward the Yucatan Peninsula. With 70 mile per hour winds, it is close to hurricane strength and likely will be a hurricane by the time it makes landfall in the Yucatan, perhaps as early as later today. By tomorrow, the storm emerges into the Gulf of Mexico, possibly as a Category 1 hurricane. It is not likely to strengthen much. There is dry air over the Gulf of Mexico. There will be wind shear as it approaches the coastline, and there's also some cooler water near the coast that I'll show you in just a few seconds. But know that it, uh, even if it does weaken, it's likely to be a strong tropical storm. Could still be a Category 1 hurricane. Take this cone and realize that it is anywhere that the center of the storm could be. And don't focus on the center of this track because in this case, this forecast cone really is the possibility of the center being anywhere from the Florida Panhandle to central Louisiana. It is not iced out yet as to exactly what this thing is going to do. So not probably, it, it's not going to be as indecisive as Sally and not as direct as Delta, somewhere in between. But there are still things this could do that would take it further to the east or a little further to the west. And the trend has been to the west, but we'll see. Right now, the consensus, the, the group of models that's uh, most tightly packed here would be eastern Louisiana into southeast Mississippi and then kind of uh, brushing the News 5 neighborhood with the center of the storm. Now, that would mean that we'd be on the, the ugly side of that storm with more in the way of wind and storm surge and probably heavy rain, the possibility of tornadoes for Wednesday as well. So there are still a lot of specifics to be ironed out. And we've got to watch, and that's what you've got to do too. Uh, it enters the Gulf tomorrow, landfall likely Wednesday, and probably is a strong tropical storm with some uncertainty in the track. All right, so that's where we are right now. Uh, potential or dangerous surf. Now, that's almost a certainty that we're going to have high surf and a high risk of rip currents. Strong winds, yes. Will they be sustained tropical storm force winds or sustained hurricane winds? Probably not the way things look right now. Uh, it would be maybe a sustained tropical storm force winds or maybe some tropical storm gusts in the 50, 60 mile an hour range. Uh, but that's what it looks like right now. Talk to me again tomorrow and I may have changed that a little bit. Uh, heavy rainfall, I think, is a fair certainty. A few tornadoes not out of the question. That was with any landfalling tropical system. So what do you do? You review your disaster plan and you stay on top of this storm because it is changing from uh, each out, uh, uh, what are they, uh, uh, update from the Hurricane Center. It's all a little different each time. So that's something we'll want to watch. You want to watch, too. A couple of things that are affecting this. There's high pressure building over Florida. The red is going to be the high pressure. You'll see that here. It kind of builds in over Florida. Uh, as that builds, it will guide Zeta to the northwest. And then it's going to encounter low pressure and a cold front approaching out of the mountains. And then uh, that will possibly push this more back to the east. So it's going to arc to the west, come back to the east, and how far east will determine how much of Zeta's weather we will get on Wednesday. The sea surface temperature I mentioned a little while ago is in the 70s as you get close to the coastline. Now, by then, there will already be some water piled up, so some storm surge or at least some coastal flooding is likely. Folks on Dauphin Island, pay attention to that. Also, the Mobile Bay Causeway could uh, be underwater again. Uh, anybody close to the coastline is going to see more effects from this system than those farther inland. And then you notice the 80 plus degree uh, sea surface temps 
out over the middle of the Gulf. It gets into the 70s as you get close to the coastline. And it will also run into wind shear close to the coastline. And that's why we think it will return to tropical storm status before landfall. At Daphne's Infirmary East, it's an easy drive across the Bayway and the Causeway. Mentioned fog earlier, and there is a little bit. Uh, evergreen, three quarters of a mile visibility. We've seen fog in Atmore from our cameras at Wing Creek Casino and Hotel. So we know that there's fog in a few spots this morning. Not everybody's going to run into it. The radar is perfectly quiet, and the umbrella forecast is a 0% chance of needing a Green and Phillips umbrella today. So the extended outlook is this. We have a lovely day today, partly cloudy skies, some showers tomorrow. Zeta's effects on Wednesday, whether it be a tropical storm or a hurricane in our neighborhood or the edges of one. And then Thursday, the sky is clear, leading into a beautiful Halloween weekend and a longer than usual weekend as we'll see our clocks set back one.